Good evening, folks. Shout out to Sports Wars, Liz Wheeler, Mark Dice, Black and White Sports, Officer Tatum, and a whole bunch of other sports people and a whole bunch of other conservative groups out there with this. But before I get any further, get your children out of this, out of there before I, because there's a lot of foul language in this episode. All right. Now on to this episode. Who in the living hell do you think you are, LeBron James? Trying to say that it's not right for Americans to have an opinion for what you say? Really? You did that to yourself. Shame on you. Shame on you, LeBron James. You know why? First of all, look at what you did. Liberal privilege. Two words. Liberal privilege. A Democrat, a liberal... Or any kind of authoritarian type of moron out there can go out there and post, tweet, or say where the hell they want to say on Facebook or Twitter or any kind of social media platform and get away with it. While if a conservative or a Republican does it, they're going to get banned or thrown in jail. Or impeached for Donald Trump's matter. This is what it's, this world has come to. It's a one-sided mess. One-sided mess where I, I literally don't even know where to start at. As for the China James, if you're so scared about this world, why don't you go back where you came from? Oh, wait a minute. I can't say that part. I take the back. Why don't you go to China where the actual communism is taking place, where it's an actual communist country? Communism actually exists over there. If you don't know what communism is, it's where the government controls the country. People don't have a right to decide what they want to be when they grow up. And that's where the real oppression is taking place. The China James says that There's two Americas, and he's oppressed by one. Well, why don't you go to China, where the real oppression is? Why don't you stand up for them? Why don't you go liberate those people, where the real oppression is taking place at? For crying out loud, instead of standing, instead of saying you're oppressed by this country, you say you're oppressed by China. China is the real problem here. You crop calling piece of shit. I don't even know where to start with the rest of this. Oh, that's right. A liberal. Like all the other dumbasses out there called liberals. They just think that they can say whatever the hell they want. And they do. They can say whatever the hell they want and get away with it. I see it all the time. And they still have a Facebook page. Well, us conservatives, we can't. We gotta watch what we say. Or else our Facebook page, or... Or else we get put in Facebook jail. Or our... Facebook page will be deleted. Or our... Twitter page will be deleted. Or... Stuff, something like that. All these high liberal morons who are in charge of... Stuff like that will be deleted. That's literally what this has come down to. The dumb James, he just went to a whole new low when he did that to that police officer. I don't know who in their God's name could even do that. I don't know. But you know, it's okay. It's okay if they post mean pictures of Donald Trump when he was in office. But yet... If they do it about Hyde and Biden, 
it's not okay, I got a problem with that. I'm sorry to say this. I, I'm of right to my opinion. LeBron James is the most overrated player there ever has been in, in pro basketball history. He might have scored the most points, but he's since lost his touch. He's only won four titles in his career. He can't win, period. It takes a team effort, not individual effort, to win a game. But as of all the other celebrity morons, only 9 million, only 9 million, 9.5 million dollars raised compared to 26 million the year before, that's a laughing or two. <laughs> and there's also a problem I have with that. 81 million votes for Hyde and Biden, and you're going to tell me that with all the celebrities that follow that said Biden was the better pick. And you think with all the people who followed them, supposedly the 81 million, you think with all the people following them, you think they would all, they would, that was that many people, you think they would, the Oscars would be more higher up than 26? Hmm. Why is it down to 9 million? Math's just not there. I just don't get it. The same, same goes with these morons. I just don't get it. The math is just not there. The corruption is deep. Nancy Pelosi, a.k.a. Nancy Pelosi, is in over her head. The minimum wage hike is going to hurt us in the long run. All these cowards are literally getting on my nerves. They don't know when to shut up. And accept facts for what they are. I mean, the authoritarian morons such as Joe Biden, who wants to not only raise taxes, but make everything green. I mean, what are we going to run on? How is everything going to run? <sighs> Some things are going to stay on scene. Some things are going to stay on forever. That's just the way things are. And as of everything else, I don't know where to even start with the, with the rest of this. The minimum wage hike it's not going to help this country. It's just going to hurt more. Prices of food's going to go up. People, women, well, not necessarily women, but everyone who gets tips when they sit at the counter or when they weigh on people, they won't be able to get tips now. Tips won't be able to be handed down. And the totalitarian, which is what communism technically is, is what another word for socialism is. They just want to control what everything is. And that's what this world has come to. Communism. And this corruption needs to stop. Get rid of these corrupt morons. And throw them out. And I don't know anybody who is military that actually supports Hyde and Biden. I only don't know anybody. And his speech, and Hyde and Biden's speech was absolutely a shit show. A total shit show. That pathetic bastard needs to go. They all need to go. Put brand new people in there. People who actually care about our damn country. Well, with that being said, I gotta go. Peace.